Alright, today we're going to switch to a different style hitch. What we're switching from is a finger pinching good time. Basically, when you want to uh, hook up, you set this down on your ball, you slam that closed, that bar goes in, this sheath comes over. And uh, you just get your fingers pinched and everything. And then to get it back off, you got a bang on this. It's up here, and you got to slide it this way. And this is spring loaded out, and then it'll lift back off. But it's just a big mess, and you pinch fingers, you get blood blisters all the time. So we're switching to a different style. First thing you want to do is measure the height where you want it at. Okay, so we'll go over to our truck and we want this this trailer level. So what we'll do is we'll uh, find a point on the frame and we'll level the trailer. Okay, to level the trailer, measure from the ground up to a, a specific spot. It's 32 to the bottom rail. And it's 27 and a half back here. We'll drop the front end two inches. Now the trailer's low. Now you want to check how high this is. So that'd be our first set of holes. Measure that. The top of the ball is about 17 and a half inches off the ground. So let's go measure our truck. We're at our Ford 250 Super Duty. We're going to measure the height of the ball. Off the ground, looks to be about 21 inches. Now it also goes on another truck that's shorter. So we'll go measure that one and then average the difference. Okay, and now we're at our Chevy 1500. And as you can see, this ball height is about 16 and 3 quarters. Four inches difference, so we'll go halfway between the two, and we will go with 19 inches at the top of our ball height. Okay, we determined our ball height was 19 inches, so we can either go with this one right there or the one below. Let's put a load on it. The trailer is going to actually put some pressure on the pickup so it'll come down. So I'm going to put it on the lower notch. It'll artificially raise the tongue of the trailer. And then once you put a load on it, it will be level. So we're going to put it in this bottom hole. Now you can see that I've ran into a problem. That baby just isn't going to slide in there. It's got these little flanges right here. We're going to have to take those down to get that on there. But we don't want to take it down too much because if we get play in there, it's going to sit there rocking the whole time and irritating everybody. So we're just going to grind that down, feather it out a little bit with the angle grinder, and we'll come back.
Now I'm going crosswise. I'm going left, right, and then forward, back. That way I don't create a big wallow in there. Snug is good, but that's a little too snug. Back to the grinder. All right, perfect. All right. Well, now I've ran into another problem. Okay, here's the problem now. I got it to fit, but now that's bottomed out, going all the way back. Oops, hold on. Now the bolts don't line up. So now, what I'm gonna have to do Let's see. Might have to grind a little bit off the back side there just to get her to fit down in there. Alright. <laughs> back to the drawing board. So what I did was I ground back. That's a good hefty piece right here. So I, I don't think I took away any of the structural integrity of it. It's really thick. It's probably 5 eighths right here and then it's got a stiffener back in here. So what I did is just Wilt it off probably sixteenth of an inch on either side, just giving it a nice bevel. And there comes the moment of truth. Let's see if we can't pop a bolt in. That's good. Those two nuts started. Get a little blue creeper. B L U E and then creeper.com. Okay, so you're probably wondering where my safety chains are. All my safety chains are laying on the ground. Right here. Now, it might be logical to some people to bolt these chains right in with the hitch. That's not a good idea. If this hitch, these safety chains are to save you if the hitch fails. So that that means if uh, if this fails, if these bolts fail, if the part where the receiver hitch fails, or if the receiver hitch fails, or if the truck receiver hitch fails, these are supposed to keep your trailer connected so you can get it stopped. So you bolt these in one of these up uh, extra holes up here. Tighten down our safety chain so I don't forget.
carriers are safe for chains. Get them out of the way for now. Okay. We want to tighten up our uh, hitch bolts. I don't have a ratchet this size. These puppies are getting tight. Check our height. All right, we're about 18 and a half. We're shooting for 19. All right, last but not least, make sure you got everything hooked up and tight. Raise her back up, otherwise you crash into it. Don't want to crash into it with the truck. Now once you hook it up to the truck, you want your safety chains crossed when you hook them. So when you bring them back up through to hook them to the truck, you want them crossed. That way when the truck comes around, it automatically uses, uh, uses uh, fulcrum and the chains never tighten up. If they're like this, all of a sudden, you can't go nowhere. You can't turn very tight. But if they're crossed, you can turn infinite. Alright, thanks for watching.